Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and this subscriber sent the donation, so thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, um, I have a serious relationship question I was hoping that you can help me with. My girlfriend and I have known each other for 11 years now. I've known her since she was 18, and I was 25. I'm, I'm now 36, and she is 30. Uh, neither of us have kids, and we have always been great friends with benefits for years. Um, she would give me um, amazing blowjobs for years, but never had never had sex. We've been through everything together, and we literally we are literally the best friends. Um, a few years ago, we decided to try our hand at a relationship. And it has been great. We love the same thing. Spiritually connected. She treats me like a king. Overall, a very good woman. But physically, the attraction um, is off. Um, our sex life is all the way off. I am confused as to what to do. We have tried to get her to dress sexier and wear different things, but it simply isn't working. I'm an African-American man, and you know we like thick women with shape and hips, and she has no shape. Her face is like a five, maybe, and I find myself staring at a woman who I am more attracted to. She complains that I don't kiss her enough, um, that I don't post her on my social media, and that I am not having sex with her enough. But the attraction just isn't there. I am embarrassed to post her on my social media or to be seen in public with her because I am an attractive guy who always had hot women, but she is definitely not what I'm used to. I don't know what I should do. Am I shallow for wanting a woman that I find sexy when I have this woman who treats me like gold? I'm, tr I'm truly trying to find things about her body and face that I like, but it isn't working. What should I do? All right. So... The thing is, right now, what's happening is you're just, you're settling for this chick, right? And see, what's hard is because, you know, she's probably a cool person. You understand? She probably treats you good. She, you know, everything is cool on that end, but you're not physically attracted to her. You see what I'm saying? So you can't really force the attraction. This is not, it's not going to work. You see what I'm saying? And so that's going to have an impact on your relationship with her you understand so the thing is you guys are probably better as just like fuck buddies than you and her actually being boyfriend and girlfriend and being in that like you know full-fledged uh relationship you see what i'm saying because you're attracted to her enough to the point where it's kind of like you like her as a person you understand what i'm saying and you know, you're, you're like, she's she's OK, but if she doesn't give you that feeling, that um, excitement, you understand, because you're not physically attracted to her, you understand? And that's important for you to have that physical attraction to her in order for in order for it to, you know, really work. Because, you know, every time you look at her and you see her and you're around her, it's just going to be a reminder of how much you're not that into her like that. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, you know, women like that. You can just designate for fuck buddy material. You understand? Like, you know, you could be cool with her, you know, whenever you're, you know, bored or you, you have a dry spell or, you know, you just want to chill. You call her up, you hang out, you know, you hit it and then you keep it moving. You understand? But you don't want to get into any long term type of relationships uh, with a woman like this because it's not fair to you and it's not fair to her. You see what I'm saying? Because if you're not that attracted to her. She's going to see that. She's going to sense that. She's going to feel that. And that's not a good thing. You see what I'm saying? And then you're not going to be having, you know, a good time in a situation because you're not really feeling her like that. And then what's going to happen is you're going to end up cheating on her. It's going to be a big thing, a whole bunch of drama and a bunch of nonsense. And it's just not, you know, you don't want to go down that road. You see what I'm saying? And so the thing is, what's hard about this is that since she's such a cool chick, you know, you're like, damn, but she's so cool. She's so, you know on point on that aspect but you know the, the 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 looks thing is not popping off and see it has to be that balance it has to be where you know you're attracted to her physically enough and also she's a cool chick because you know a chick don't got to be like a supermodel type of chick but you you still should be you know attracted to her. you still should not feel funny uh walking down the street with this chick or taking pictures with her or whatever you see what i'm saying if that's the case, that's not the chick for you. You understand? Because, you know, most most guys will have, you know, if a guy 
you know, messes with a lot of different chicks. Most guys who mess with a lot of different chicks may have a chick who he thinks, you know, isn't that attractive. But, you know, he just designate her as just a fuck buddy. Like, you know, I see her when I see her, you know, and, and I get it get it in and I just keep that shit pushing. You understand? He, he's not really that attracted to her where he wants to, like, you know, hang out with her and show her off and all this other stuff. But she's cool, so he just smashes. So that's what you need to do with this girl. You understand? And then you got to find yourself another girl who you're actually really attracted to and you know uh make sure she also has that similar type of personality you understand and they're out there you just gotta search for them you feel what i'm saying but i would say right now you you you, you don't really need to uh be in, in in this type of situation really with this chick because since you're not really that into her you understand it's gonna play out in your relationship and it's gonna make everything just you know worse it's not gonna be a good situation to be in you understand so you know i would say you know you could keep her around y'all could be cool and all that on some like fuck buddy shit but other than that find yourself a new chick all right so that's pretty much it listen guys if you have any questions make sure you click the link below and i'll holler at you later remember the truth is inside you peace i'm gone now before you turn off this video i want you to do three quick things one i want you to click the link below to send me a question if you have a question on dating and relationships i'll make a video about it two i want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program undeniable game which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women and three i want you to click the link under that one to go to bad boy membership where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month what's up it's dating and life coach mr locario go to bad boy membership com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com